Once the base and orthographic projected views are in place, it's easy to create section views. Let's see how. We'll select the section view tool and then click here to use as the parent view that will generate our section. We'll now use some geometry within the body of the engine itself, along with tracking, and then we'll orthogonally pull across to create a conventional section view through the engine. Once we're done, we hit enter. Now we're being prompted to place where we would like the section view to go. Normally, it is pulled off orthographically like any other projection. However, as noted here on the screen, you can use the shift key to break that alignment. So we'll do that and place it here. If you'd like to change the scale or visibility of this projected section, you can do so at this time. Otherwise, simply press exit and all the parameters from the parent view will be transmuted to it. After processing is complete, you'll receive an intelligent annotation that actually references the section view. And if you don't exactly like the placement of that, you can always grab it, grip edit it, and move it into the exact position you want. That's it. That's what's involved with creating section views in AutoCAD 2013.